Kaskin kind of made their name with their Super Power Braid. Uh, it's a four strand line uh, for all poundage weights uh, below 65 pounds. And above 65 pounds, uh, you enter um, the uh, eight strand uh, varieties. Um, I typically use uh, 15 to 30 pound braid in most of my fishing applications. And uh, the example I have today is a 20 pound, so it's a, it's a four strand braid. Now this line is synonymous with a high value affordable fishing braid. If you've never used fishing braid before and uh, want to save some money, this is a, a great option uh, to start out with. Uh, again, you know, it's, it's four strand, so it's a little coarser than uh, the eight strand braids that are out there. And um, if you can look really close, you can kind of see um, the textured uh, grain that this line has and again it's it's four strand braid because it's one of the lighter lines and uh, it's a little coarse so you know this is the line that will bite your finger if you miscast this is the line that will cut through organic matter and um, kelp and grass if you know that's the environments you're fishing in so you know if you burn through a lot of line if you are hard on your line or if you need line that has a lot of cutting action and you don't necessarily care about having the thinnest line or the smoothest line this is a great option the casking uh, super power braid now casking stepped up their game by introducing an eight strand only line called casking mega 8 so it promises to be a uh, thinner diameter than their super power braid and it is um, for the 40 pound variety uh, it's only 0.32 uh, millimeters I believe uh, for the 40 pound um, variety of super power braid uh, I think it's uh, 0.35 millimeters so you know you gain a little um, a little decrease in diameter which means uh, more line capacity for your spools um, but you know to me the advantage of having an eight strand line um, you know uh, for for higher uh, poundages is uh, one um, the smooth texture that um, gives you you know a little bit of a quieter fishing experience this line passes through guides uh, like butter I mean it's very smooth it's very quiet and uh, you know that that quiet uh, fishing translates to just a nice softer feel if you're using a low profile bait casters or conventional bait casters I'm gonna be doing a lot more rock fishing than uh, bass fishing so I'm gonna be you know using lures in the six to ten ounce um, uh, range so I'm gonna be putting a lot of strain and a lot of stress on my gear and you know I'm gonna need line um, that's gonna be biting hard on itself on the guides on the equipment and on my hand so you know I'm gonna want line that is uh, as smooth as possible and um, I'll tell you what this this line is color fast I mean it holds its color pretty well I've used it out in the surf uh, crab snaring a few times and uh, it really does a good job of retaining its color um, you know, I've had the cheaper uh, Dynamos and uh, Spectra lines from uh, Amazon eBay that color fade you know, after first use. So if you're looking for a nice, smooth, affordable line um, that's a step up from, um, you know, the entry-level value uh, braids, and you're looking for 8-strand smooth casting lines, uh, the Casting Mega 8 is definitely a great option. Now, if you want to take it a step further and go as high as you can go, with uh, Casking's uh, braided line options, definitely check out the Casking Max Thin 8. So again, this is an eight strand line. I have the 40 pound version uh, to compare to uh, their Mega 8. And uh, you just gain, you know, lower diameter line um, and just, you know, an even smoother and, uh, you know, silkier finish. Um, this line is just awesome. I mean, every benefit I mentioned uh, from the Mega 8 is, uh, you know, a little amplified uh, in the uh, Max Thin 8. So, you know, if you're familiar with Power Pro Super Slick 8, I think that's the best comparison I can make um, to this line. If you're looking for a super soft, a super pliable, um, you know, braided option that has zero memory, you know, zero stretch like most braids, and just a super, super quiet uh, fishing experience, this is definitely a great option. I mean, if you compare this 40 pound um, diameter to uh, their Mega 8, let me, pull, let me pull it up. So, you know, they advertise it as 30% uh, um, thinner than uh, competing lines. And, you know, with my experience with, uh, with all kinds of braid, that's definitely a, a valid claim. So, you know, again, if you're looking for a line 
um, that is super thin, uh, super soft, super pliable, um, you know, and uh, you know, affordable for a high-performing line. This is uh, definitely a good option. So if you're looking for suggested applications for each type of line, I can tell you from experience that where I fish, the NorCal West Coast shorelines, uh, there's a lot of variety and lots of species to catch. Um, you know, there's perch, stripers year-round, halibut when they're in season, rockfish, ling, uh, crabs. There's just a lot of stuff, and you know, casking really does have a great selection of line to fill each need. So, you know, for the super power braid, uh, if I'm looking for, um, you know, just low cost but you know, decent line to, to throw crab snares out into the ocean. You know, if you've ever gone crab snaring or seen it on YouTube, um, it's abusive. You know, this is a, a four ounce pyramid weight packed with bait. You know, sometimes I throw on another bait. This could be, a, you know, a pound that I throw right into the surf. And, um, you know, it sits on the bottom of the ocean. I drag it through sand over rocks sometimes. So, you know, I burn through line. Uh, crab snaring for the casking super power braid uh, because it's a uh, you know pretty decently performing line um, great value and definitely better than those you know super cheap uh, no name uh, dynamo spectra braids that you find on Amazon and eBay um, this is the braid for that if you're looking for um, you know if you're a, a kayak angler and you fish a lot of uh, structure or kelp or you know just areas with a lot of organic matter and you, you know you need to get your uh, you know big swim baits down deep into a lot of uh, just organic mess and you need you know line that can uh, come up and cut through all that stuff um, this is a great option um, you know definitely recommended if uh, too if you're getting into braid for the first time and you don't want to spend a ton of money um, it's definitely you know a high value line uh, if you want to step up and uh, if you want a smooth casting line, if you want a quieter line, if you want a line that's really comfortable to spool, um, I would know because you know you go on those big rockfish and ling charters and you're throwing you know six ounce, eight ounce, ten ounce, twelve ounce, sometimes even sixteen ounce depending on the current and wave height uh, lures that you know just you know take a, a huge toll on your um, on your gear. And if you're using a conventional reel like I do, um, if I use a Avid MXJ, um, you're definitely going to want you know a line that is super strong has uh, you know no stretch because you know you're sending it sometimes 200 feet down and uh, you're gonna definitely want a smooth line that you can comfortably uh, you know thumb and, and, and drop down um, you know for eight hours nine hours at a time this is definitely a great option and again uh, it's very color fast it's actually uh, a little more color fast than this braid it, it holds its color really well so you know if you're concerned about a line fade and braid um, this line holds its color really well and uh, if you're looking to step up and you know want the best uh, you know that money can buy um, you know through casking uh, try casking's max thin 8 you know you're gonna get the benefits of the mega 8 uh, just in a smaller tighter package you know if you want a line um, that is super smooth super thin super quiet and really want to maximize the line capacity of uh, your equipment this is definitely a line to consider um, I'm gonna start using this line for uh, surf perch and uh, striped bass in the surf when the season kicks up you know I'm gonna want a line that um, I can just you know huck as far as I can I, I want that line to really sail and cover some water um, that's definitely you know a line I'm gonna consider you know and in freshwater applications if you're a bass angler and you're used to casting lures you know hundreds of times per day I mean this is definitely you know a line to consider and if you know you want to pack on as much line capacity and you know just need a bulletproof line to uh, you know pull fish out of structure and heavy cover this is definitely a line to consider so you know again it's it's the best line that I think um, casking offers so definitely a consideration um, if you're going the casking route so if you're interested in any more information or purchasing the line uh, shown here check out uh, eposidon.com amazon.com ebay or casking.com.